You guys want to hear Clint Eastwood as a DJ? Yeah, let's do, do, do this. This is play Misty for me. <laughs> TV movie back in the seventies when they're really big. I can't. Are you sure this is a TV movie? Well, Absolutely. Someone is saying that it was in the movie theater. No, I think it, it was in the wasn't. Movie I, I will you. bet any amount of money right now. Play Misty for me. TV movie. Go to IMDb Stop it. and we will internet movie database. Immediately. Solve this. If this bill hangs up, I'll hunt him down. All right, hold on, Bill. We'll we'll find out. Hold on, Bill. Well, the movie is uh, Clint Eastwood. He's a he's a DJ and uh, <laughs> yeah. Carmel, I guess. Yeah, Carmel. A little radio station in the middle of nowhere, and he had to write his poems for his radio show. His radio show. He had to feel the music. He had to pick out his music, and then he had to play poems that he wanted to play in between tunes. That's what it was. His and then he had Who a, would listen to that drivel? And then he had uh, the stalker that all she wanted to hear was play Misty. <laughs> yeah, play Misty play for Misty me. Play Misty for me. And it just ends up with her running into the studio or his house with a knife trying to kill him. Oh, yeah. And all she'd say was... Play Misty for me. And at first it was like, all right, what's your name? <laughs> all right, here's, uh, uh, here's Clint Eastwood on the radio. Taking requests. <laughs> oh, Here he is. Uh, two for Tuesday. <laughs> here in the lighthouse. Here he is reciting one of his poems. poems. <laughs> then they've destroyed the roads of wonder, and their cities squat like black toads. It sucks. In the orchards of life, nothing is clean or real or as a girl. That's the PD to hotline him. Or be a man with this is Dave Garver with a little verse, a little talk, and five hours of music to be very, very nice to each other. Bye. 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 Uh, Clint, yeah, yeah. Um, look, we're going to talk. We, can you bring in an air check into my office? Because <laughs> we really got to go over this. You stink as a jock. <laughs> yeah, but he ends up throwing her off the cliff in the end of the movie. Yeah, that was pretty cold, but he's uh, the worst disc jockey ever. Hey, Opie, the Dirty Harry thing you're looking at on IMDb is the video game uh, Clint Eastwood is going to be in. Oh, he's doing voiceover for it? I thought it was in the movie section. Oh, okay. IMDb. I'm sorry about that. Oh, so that. it's a video game. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Usually yeah. you'll just see a VO for video, uh, voiceover. Here, here's the broad calling in. To Clint Eastwood as he does his radio show. Men have destroyed the roads of wonder. That sounds like my poem again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being redundant. Sorry, sorry. It's a twofer, I told you. <laughs> Caramel, Dave Garner speaking. Hello. Hi, what'll it be? Play Misty for me. Misty, huh? We have that right on the play rack. Thanks for calling. That's <laughs> his request. Opie. Push your fart button for me. <laughs> yeah. Do so, the thing when the guy's choking and doing something. So this is uh, what DJs did before Howard uh, showed us all what to do. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> you dick. Yeah. Ooh, well, more I invented poetry. Just... Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. I'm going out to the Hamptons, Robin. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They're ripping me off. <laughs> Men are ruining the world, and black toads are coming. But I invented all that. Radio was nothing before me. I'm going to satellite. <laughs> Radio is all about just reading poems. And five million Before listeners. I came along. Robin. Now I have to have my girlfriend fall down at Madison Square Garden so they talk about me in the paper. <laughs> What'd you do? What was the last movie you did? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, man. Uh, here's more Clint Eastwood on the radio. We'll have more smooth sounds in just one minute. First, at 10 minutes to the hour, we're broadcasting from KRML in the Carmel Rancho Shopping Center, home of the Buccaneer, the Man's Boutique. <laughs> the man's but he's doing commercial reads. Cheryl Teagues was replaced by Shelly Hack. Shelly Hack. Thank you, Ken. I'm long she was wow. horrid. Thank you, Ken. And here's one more Clint Eastwood uh, thing on the radio. And now we have a pretty one for lonely lovers on a cool, cool night. It's the great Errol Garner classic, Misty. And this one is especially for Evelyn. Oh, boy. He acknowledges Evelyn. You want to hear Evelyn? You want to hear Evelyn? Even though Clint Eastwood was just reading poems on the radio, he was making enough money to have a maid. And this is what Evelyn did to the black maid. <laughs> of course they couldn't swear, but they could kill a black woman to death. They, wow! They can stab For a while, her. they can stab a black woman till <laughs> she really die. Yeah, he directed this movie. 
let's see. I don't think they should have at least two directors when black people in movies. It was his first directorial. <laughs> it was his first movie he directed. Uh, finished shooting four days ahead of schedule and fifty thousand dollars under budget. Oh, look why at that. is that? Film so completed in twenty-one days. Uh, I don't know. I, it says nothing about the movies, but if it was in the movie, what is this? In theaters in seventy-one, made ten million six hundred thousand dollars. To, to, like up to when? Yesterday at Blockbuster? I don't believe it. Still not agreeing. Uh, and cut. Patrice, we need you to scream better than that.